What's up, all? Uh, today, me and Jocelyn, we're heading out today. We're gonna go have us some quality time, you guys. So we're gonna head out to the clothing. And so we're getting ready to go to the boat. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys. For those who are new, go ahead and subscribe. For those, see that boat? Oh my goodness, look at that. I ain't, oh my God, he's persistent, you guys. That big old mosquito. So anyway, let me walk, because that mosquito trying to get me. Get on my face, man. For those who are new, go ahead and subscribe. So for those who've been around, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at him, he got my hat all twisted up now. Let's see, we're going this way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. So here's some of my village kids. This the other side. Oh my goodness, that thing to come back up and with me. Y'all look, he's trying to get on my arm and everything. Good morning. Good morning. That's brilliant, you guys. That's my niece. That's brilliant. <laughs> What's up? That's the nephew right here on the right. Look. So we're going to head out this way. We're going to hit this boat with a brother in law. Oh, there you go. See him out there in the water at the boat. Look at that little mosquito go. Man, that wasn't a little mosquito. That's a big old mosquito. You guys trying to get him? So look at this, you guys. Look at the beauty out here. So that's the boat over there. Oh, Johnson already on the boat. They waiting on me. Look how beautiful it is out here. Look, people right there in the water. Early in the morning, got their little goggles and stuff on. Might be looking for some shells. Uh, but this is the Philippines. You guys been here three years now. Loving it. This is Teller inside. Look how beautiful it is in the Philippines. A village. Only way to get in by boats is because look behind. Nothing but the mountains, nothing but the mountains. Nothing but the mountains. All right, you guys, let me get on this boat. Be back. So we get about to head out. Look, behind me, the beautiful wife. That's Jocelyn, you guys, and you guys new here. That's my world behind me. That's my life. That's my lifeline. That's my support. That's my love, you guys, that's sitting behind me. <laughs> Girl, so we about to roll out. So you guys get get to see the beauty from here. So I like that spot right there. I wouldn't mind building a house right there. But this is the Tellier inside. You guys can see the beauty. Look at that, all the way down to that. Man. Look at the water. Nice greenish blue water. See the kids right there. There's kids right there playing in the water. Where? In the water? Oh, my rose in the water. Bye, my rose. My rose. Where you at? Wave your hand so I know where you at. There she go, you guys. Who all with you? Is that Quincy? No. no? Oh, I see a let loose sign. So there they go. That's my rose and her friend playing in the water. I'm head out. Look, Shoe Island over there. That's Belair Island right in front. And then once we get around the corner, I'll show you guys. Look. 
All right, so we're getting close to our destination. Uh, look, look at the beautiful mountains. This is the water park. Uh, lots of party has happened here. And you see, I just pointed to, that's the third village down from us. That is the village of Kulesi. All right, you guys, so we're pulling up here. And uh, look at one more time, look at the mountains. And we're gonna get this thing rolling. All right, guys, so we stopped. We're on this back road. It's just leaving the water park, but look at the beauty here. That's Belan Island across the way. And you guys see how it is from the backside? Those are the village. Village, that's the village down there. And so back behind the village, you see it's the mountains. Then this road right here, hopefully one day we'll go to our village. But this is the beauty of the Philippines right here. These are banana trees that's all around. Those are all banana trees right there. All right, guys, let's get back in the car and get on the road. We're going to get some more videos. So a lot of people use this back road to go to the villages. So like I say, hopefully one day this road right here go to our village. So he got his motorcycle park here, so I don't know where he lives. Got it parked right there. Look, got another motorcycle park right there. So they must stay up there somewhere to have their motorcycle right there. So a few houses and stores are built on this back road right here. I mean, look to the right. Look down there, see you see some homes down there. So a few more homes on the back road. This is the area where we gave out the rice. Oh, okay. This is the area right here we gave out rice last month. See this guy in front, you guys? Look, he drawing coconut. So make him a little bit cash. So coming up, you guys see, look. Look, see the water out there? Someone is building a nice big house right here. You see all these workers down there? Everybody working. No trespassing, he got his signs up already. See, now we're on the main road, you guys. We're gonna head up into the mountains. Once we get up there, I'll let you guys see some of these homes that people be building right on the right side, right here. And right behind those houses be a drop. So, they brave. All right, a few houses on the right. And right behind these homes, you guys, is a drop. These houses are right on the edge. Look at that, right on the edge. Now these next few homes we're gonna pass, just try to see the, the structure, look. Uh, see leaves on top, bamboo, and those houses are built right on the edge, see that? Here in the Philippines, if there's a space, they would build a house anywhere. So we got a little trike in front of us. We trying to slow down so Johnson can pass and but we on the curve, so. Riding through the mountains, you guys. Look here, a few homes. See the water out there? Here's a few homes right here. Look at them. A lot of these homes, whatever they can find in the wood or get donated, that's what they use to build their homes. All right, let's pass this trike up. Go ahead, Justin, do your things. Boom, past him. Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go. To the left is nothing but a valley down the, out that resort. way. Oh, that's a resort? Okay, that's a resort. I wonder who come all the way up here to go to that resort. So this is the town of Leyte Leyte, you guys. Still halfway. Uh, we just got out of the mountains. 
so this this town is actually a good little size. So today is what Wednesday. So I'm surprised not too much traffic out in town today. But, uh, kids going to school already. See these little bicycles, they everywhere you go. But they need to make their money too. Actually, this, this little town got a lot of these bicycles everywhere. There's your famous Jipney bus right here on the right. They're making their money today. Uh, we got Popo up in front of us. Usually they don't have a stop right here, but it looks like they do. Mm -hmm. He said, go ahead. So we're out in the mountains now, you guys. Look at the beauty out there. So that's a rice field right in front. Then you go further back, you see some coconut trees. And further back, some small mountains back there. Still on our, so got the fields here. They growing sugar cane, corn. So we are now in Lemon, Philippines, or Limon, Philippines, whatever how you want to say it. Uh, Lemon, Philippines, you guys. All right, guys, so we just made a quick stop. This is the town of Kapaokan. So this street is gonna take us to Tacloban. So you got a fire station here. Next to the fire station is a city hall buildings and things. The post office is there. So Johnson went to the post office. We probably got some mail there. So she went to go check. But this is the town of Kapaokan. See the water through there? So it's close to the water too. So those are Mormon guys right there across the street. Two white guys working in the Philippines. So they probably on a two year, um, what they Maybe call it? Missionary. missionary, right. Mm -hmm. Missionary. So they probably on a two year deal. All right, so I hope you don't mind the glare through the front window, but we are now in the town of um, Carigara. This is where, well, every Saturday or what, Tuesday or Wednesday? Every Wednesday. Yeah, the they have the um, Farmers Market here in Carigara. But we got this big old truck in front of us. But this is the town of Carigara. Look at the beauty out there, you guys. It stretches so far. Just so beautiful. Trees everywhere. I love it. So, Pilo, Philippines. Look at that 7 Eleven. Chicken Market. Just another little small town before we hit our destination. Phone. So Jocelyn food is here, a fruit and nut salad with a grilled chicken, waiting for mine. So I got me a chicken fried steak with a little bit of veggies and potatoes and my rice. So we about to throw this down. Jocelyn already started on hers. And uh, we about to do this. Look at that, you guys, that looks so good. It's still cooking on the plate. So the food is nice and hot. They brought mine on a hot plate. So look at me, I gotta blow like a baby and get that food cool. So actually, that is good, you guys. That chicken uh, steak is good. The potato, ooh, told you, it's hot. Let me blow this one a little bit and eat this one. Uh, yeah, so I had to taste it a little bit. Well, it's still a little bit hot. I had to take a nibble, okay. Let's do it. Boom, put it in the mouth. So now we gotta get some of that rice. Cause you know here, rice is life. That's my rice. How right, you guys, so I'm gonna finish this meal up and I'll be back. So look at that plate. Looking good. This chicken fried steak is good. But I'm a little confused, you guys. Look at that tip right here. That's a tip from a wing. How they get that on that chicken fried steak? Man, Jocelyn over there, look. Okay, she's finishing up hers, but I'm still confused. Got that tip on there, but it tastes good. I need to go find the chef and find out what he did and how he got that tip on there. See? Oh, and it's a real tip too, it's good. 
All right, guys, let me finish up this meal. All right, so I killed it. Jocelyn killed it. Now we need to get out of here and go find us a room, guys. We came down here and got no reservation nowhere. Boy, Jocelyn trying to make me fat. I went to the bathroom. I come back. She done bought me a mango muffin and her a cinnamon roll. And we got some cappuccino. So we're going to enjoy this. And then we're going to head out, you guys. Wow, this muffin is so good. Ooh. Mmm. Let me give me another little bite in there. Very good. Let me taste this cappuccino. Oh, mmm. Delicious. All right, we both should be full, so it's time to go because we're getting fat in this mall. Let's go, babe. All right, guys, so we're in Tacoma. This is where we're going to be staying out right here. The Hotel Defies. One, two, three. So, like, five floors up. So we're gonna go in here. This is supposed to be a nice hotel. So we're gonna go in here, you guys. This is the main uh, highway that goes through to Cloven. Take it straight to downtown. But me and Josh are gonna stay here tonight. Hotel the file. So from the hotel garage, you guys, from the hotel garage. See the hotel right on the water. See out there. And that's part of the hotel too. You can go out there, sit on that deck and eat right there. This is Hotel Something Defiles. So this is the room, you guys. Uh, this is pretty good hotel room for a Philippine hotel. Nice big shower over here. Yeah, me and Jocelyn can fit in that shower. Toilet with the little bidet thing so you can rinse your butt good. It's a nice queen size bed. Another twin bed, but we don't need that. Or oh, maybe we do, I don't know. We have a little balcony out here. But right out there's the main street. And then you can see um, the shop across the street. Oh, Ace Francis Hotel over there with the blue. But nice little balcony too right here, so. We're gonna chill here tonight, gonna chill here tonight. Got a little refrigerator. So we can put our water in there so it can be cold. All right, check it out. So we're on the second floor, you guys, and look, we have a pool out here on the second floor. Check this out. So this is the second floor pool right here, you guys. We got a little small pool over there for the kids. Then you walk out here, look, the water's out here. That's Jocelyn in the front. Look, you can sit, sit right out here, right in front of the water. So, if we want to come out here tonight and chill, we can. Nice, very nice hotel. Look, all the rooms have balconies, and you got balconies on the back side. So, and then there's a restaurant here on this on this uh, second floor. People out there eating. So, very nice hotel, you guys. So, we got some sweets and stuff over here. So, this is like a little coffee shop, pool, coffee shop. Uh, she being bad back there. I told her, girl, you better get up. So we just we just chilling together, y'all. Get some quality quality time in today. We're in the mall. We better go do what we what we do good is eat. Cause we're close to dinner time, so we get ready to go eat again. So you can see the mall, people behind me. So we're going in one of Jocelyn's favorite places called uh, Tia Tita's. Y'all know where that's at. That's where we got the band outside, so we're gonna go there and eat. Got a pancake house over there, you guys, pancake house. Now this place is pretty good too. Kenny Rogers got some good food, but we're not gonna eat Kenny Rogers today. They got Iceberg over there, got the best desserts. Yellow cap pizza right there. But this is where we're going outdoor right here. See that say Tia Tita's up there? 
This is where the band gonna be tonight. Tia Tita's. I got some rice and some chicken and a song. And Jocelyn got her favorite over there. Uh, some soup, rice, some fish soup. Then you soup right there. And let's see what's in this bowl. Big piece of fish right there. So we're gonna enjoy this meal and I'll be back. Man, this chicken is so good, so tasty. And Jocelyn over there with her soup. All right, you guys, so we're gonna finish this up. Wait, let me get, get a little bit of rice in my mouth. Rice is life, you guys. All right, so we're gonna finish up this meal and we'll see what we can get into next. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so we just finished eating. So you guys see, this the other restaurant across from Tia Teachers. Look like they got a, a band too. So that band is outdoor band is getting ready to set up. This is Tia Teachers where we be coming at. But this place Drake's. Drake's got a band out there too. So a little bit of competition. And look right across the street, you guys, it's the Summit Hotel. So if you come here and you stay at the Summit Hotel, you just walk right across. You at the mall. Tia Teachers right here. And then right here is the entrance to the mall. All right, you guys, let me get in here. Look, I found something beautiful, you guys. I found something beautiful right here. Let me see what I found that's so beautiful. Woo, oh, there you go. I found something so beautiful, you guys. Yes, I did. So this is the mall, you guys. So, man, Johnson going to walk off all that food we just ate. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Look at these snacks in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that mango cheesecake looks, looks delicious right there. See, look, you guys, you can get fat in the Philippines. But we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait till we get to our hotel. They got a, a little cafe in there. We're gonna go there and sit out at the pool and eat something. So where we going now? Okay. So we're gonna go to the market so we can take some snacks with us to the room. But right now we're gonna walk in the mall, let you guys see a little bit of the mall. So right over there is Iceberg. Iceberg got the best. Um, Iceberg has the best hollow hollow. You don't know what hollow hollow is? Look it up. That's a Philippine dessert hollow hollow. So this is Tia Tia's over here on the left. Jocelyn. Oh, you want to go upstairs? Where you want to go? Oh, she want to go up the escalator. So we're going up the escalator. But look over there, that's Cool J. See it right there, Cool J? That's one of Johnson's other favorite places. We went there first, you guys, but they look like they were so slow. They had a lot of people in there. We didn't say no food on none of the tables. So we said, nah, it's going to be a long time before we get some food. So then we went to the other place. Oh, we're going to Robinson Market. Oh, she want to do some shopping. Have <laughs> she says, shh. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, since I'm in the mall, it's been a while since I had a clean shave. It's been a while since I've been in my barber. That's because we don't live in Tacoma no more. We live in the village. So I'm going to go ahead and miss the cut and see if my barber here, he'll be happy to see me. Because y'all see, I ain't got a clean shave. You can see the, the, the gray and the black in there. So if he ain't here and he ain't busy, yeah, there you go. He just sitting there. So. He'll be glad to see Look, that's him waving, so ah, we're gonna go ahead and get us a, a, a Did I miss anyone? Okay, and you get a tip. Alright, so look you guys, hair looking good, got it all done. Gave everybody a tip today. But you know my boy gets 500 tip and I gave everybody else a hundred tip. So that was something they wasn't ex expecting. So we got everybody tip. Now I need to go find Jocelyn and see where she at. Look at all them bright lights, you guys. So we back at our hotel. We back on the second floor outdoor. Let me show you. See the infinity pool out there looking good? So that's the water out there you guys can't see. But uh, this is part of our hotel right here. So you got a pool here and you got a small pool over there. So. So this is the place you guys. This is the second floor where we at. 
so our goodies are here I got some butter flavored cookies a vanilla shake and Jocelyn has a matcha shake Cheers, baby. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. So that's Jocelyn food, you guys. So I'm not gonna eat here. But that's a free breakfast, but that's fish, you guys. I don't wanna eat no fish. I don't want no rice early in the morning. The tiny muffin and egg, but she's gonna enjoy it. She got mine to take out so she can eat it later. Oh no, give it to the kid if we see the kid out here. So, Jocelyn, go enjoy her breakfast. I'm enjoying my cappuccino. Then we're gonna head out, um, get some footage in downtown. We're gonna head out to downtown to Clover. All right, be back. So we're in downtown now, you guys. See, I told y'all that, that food came in handy. Tell the kid Otis sitting on the bench. Johnson just gave him that food, so he finna sit down and eat it. But we in downtown. Downtown to Clobin. That's Johnson in front of me. The Save More right there. It's a big market. So it's, it's what time is it about? 8, 7.30? Oh, it's 8.20. So it ain't crowded yet, but it will get crowded. But it's been sprinkling a little bit, so that'll keep a lot of people. All right? Okay. We just keep walking there. Yeah. So right here on my right is McDonald's, you guys. I ain't ate no breakfast, so they give me excuse to go in here and give me some McDonald's. But another hour from now, this going to be packed. See all the stores across the street? Oh, McDonald's don't look like it's open yet, so maybe it open at 9. They got breakfast? Oh, they open. They open, someone just went in there. So we're gonna go to McDonald's. Look, these are Jimmy Busters right here. It's a red one. Getting some money, see someone getting on the blue one. Then you got a yellow one up there. All right, guys, be right. So we're at McDonald's, waiting for our food. A good size McDonald's, see the water out of the window. Um, so we're just waiting. And little Jocelyn right there, she's just waiting. All right, you guys. My plate, you guys, hash brown, pancakes, sausage, and eggs. Let's go. All right, let's taste this hash brown first. Ooh, nice and crunchy. What's next? Let's take a little bit of these pancakes, nice and fluffy and soft. And now some eggs. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, guys, and we're gonna be out of here. So we're still in downtown, you guys. Look behind me, they selling stuff over there. So, look, this is downtown to Clover, you guys see right here. Hi. <laughs> Got some kids going to school. So they over there selling stuff over there. Look, the water's right there. You know, I see some coconut and some drinks. But this is downtown Tacoma and Jolly Bee's right there, right across the street. Jocelyn right there. All right guys, so it's the um, engine we're gonna put in the boat and get that big one out. Jocelyn just started this one, so she can start it. So you guys see a little bit of downtown. Packing the engine back in. So we in downtown to Clobin. It's one of the main streets going through downtown. Not that busy yet, but it will get busy here. All right, we're going to leave downtown, you guys. Get ready to pack this motor up. Uh, hopefully this weekend we get somebody to measure the new motor and get the new motor in the boat. And then me and Johnson get out on the water, test it out, take you guys along with us. So that's like a truck full of, of cement. One more last look at downtown before we get in this car right across from us. Black Jeepney bus, look. Yellow Jeepney bus. So it's 
It'll be picking up soon here in downtown. That's a McDonald's. I just ate that over there across the street. See, this is a Jimmy bus right here. It don't cost that much to ride it. So this is the Philippines for you guys. See the little cart right behind me? Nobody in there. Why in the hell will you park right behind me and get out and go somewhere? I don't even know where he went. Look at this. No way I can get out. He parked right behind me. All right, so we're on our way back home. Got a car for the goodies to take back to the village. Right now we are in the city of Kappa Oaken. Let me show you. We, we're right here at the Tin Library and all of that. So, so we had a checkpoint. Look, y'all see all the police through there. They supposed to be right here doing a stop, but look, they all over there chilling. So you guys, this is cool here in the Philippines. If you haven't been here, you need to come. Like I say, when I first got here, you know, you have a, I had a little bit fear of the unknown, not that I was scared, but now that I've been here three years, uh, I feel real comfortable here and I actually feel more safe here in the Philippines than I did in the United States. So I'm just waiting for Jocelyn to come back from the post office that she So no mail in her hand. I guess we ain't getting no mail. So we're gonna get hit back on the road, get back to our village, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we now back at the water park. Our last stop. We get ready unpack and get on our boat we got about a 10 minute boat ride going back towards the right but um right here these um homes you see in front of me we're gonna go through this little gate this is where we're gonna come in a couple of days and pass our rice right here uh because most of these homes i think it's just a few right here but there's a dirt road that goes down there's a lot of homes down there so you see the homes back there so we're gonna set up right out here. This is the um, makeshift basketball court right here. So right here on this dirt, you see the court right there. We're gonna set up right there and see a few houses back there, but right down there's a lot of houses. So they would come this way, um, come get rice, but this is the spot we're gonna set up maybe about two days or three days. So anyone uh, would like to help with that, go ahead, do your thing, you know what to do. But, you know, we're gonna pass, definitely pass off some rice right there. So we're gonna head on out now. The beautiful Jocelyn, see she's bagging us back from the shore. That's what we have to do. And then you have to turn that boat around. So Jocelyn, that's her job today. That's the brother-in-law behind me and his two sons right there. So we all packed up you guys. Gonna hit this water. About a 10 minute boat ride and we'll be back at the village. And Jocelyn still doing her thing, look. All right, so we're just coasting in now, you guys, getting close. If you look on the shore, uh, when we come in, everybody comes out, the kids comes out, some adults, and that's what they do. They help us unload. Um, so they know when it's me, because they look for, they see that orange vest from a mile away and everybody come down and help us take up um, our stuff to the house so that's really cool so you guys subscribe like share uh, tell your friends look at me guys big old boxes on the shoulder uh, let's make our videos uh, get out to more people so you guys share subscribe like and this is what we do here. What's like I say, a couple of days, we're gonna pass out some rice and um, smile, continue to do our thing here. How right, you guys? So, it's black men in the village. Peace out. Yeah, where I just pointed, we're going there. Love you.